Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Jeff and today we're gonna have some fun diving into the mobile app of MTG Arena. So I have it recording right now on my screen. Um, actually, this is my second time doing it because my recorder uh, side of things crashed when I played some gameplay. And so uh, I'm gonna try to maybe not do as much gameplay on this or maybe do it like in a second clip, uh, but recording my screen and playing the game at the same time did have some issues. So that's just the first thing. So my basic overview of this, we're gonna go over and then probably jumping into a little bit more of just like the each different tabs, how they function, how everything works with it, what's different from normal normal MTG arena uh, and everything like that. So first and foremost, I'm a big fan of this. I think it's awesome. I'm, I'm really glad that it finally came into mobile. That's an exciting, exciting thing. And it's pretty good. It's really great. Okay, what are the downsides real quick? Uh, it only works for an Android phone. This is a Google Pixel 3 right here. Um, there's like a list of different phones that are, are available on it. Uh, I've always just had Google for quite a while because I just I like it the best. It's, it's the best phone by far, um, <laughs> for, especially for a price. Um, and so I, I'm a big fan of this, but um, I know for anyone that has an Apple phone, it's not going to work on your phone. Uh, and only certain Android phones are accepted with that. It's basically anything that accesses the Google Play Store really well. Uh, is, is basically every any one of those are going to be accepted and beyond this. All right, so let's dive into the different things. Like I said, with gameplay, uh, doesn't work quite as well. You can jump into games. I, I wanted to show off the Rune Warriors deck that I had here, which is going to show up on a video in the future, um, but not just yet. But you can play here just the same way. You can go into the sealed events. You can do everything like that, which uh, it actually would be interesting to those of you like a draft or sealed thing. I, I'm not going to do that today. I don't have the gems right now. Um, and I don't want to buy them on here necessarily with you guys all watching, <laughs> but uh, you can access basically everything else that you have here. You can check out the, you know, the, the rewards uh, for, you know, for the different platinum tiers or whatever uh, you can, you can uh, access your emotes. I still haven't totally found out how to do the emotes on um, on this. I think it's it's within your avatar, which is over on the left hand side. So not at the center around the avatar. I'll, I'll, I'll show that a little bit later, um, but you can access all these here. And then you can dive, jump into the deck. So this is the, really the side of the, everything that I'm going to use the most is the uh, the deck um, tab on this. I am so excited to be able to, to build decks not at my computer. <laughs> like, I'm really, really excited for that. Uh, or at a laptop that I have to lug around or whatever. Like I can use, I can do this when I'm, you know, if my wife's driving, we're on a road trip or something like that, or just doing whatever. Uh, I like that I have the ability now to build decks wherever I want to with the arena format, which is really, really nice. So what things are different? So first off, uh, as you can see, so I, I did this earlier, but the, the Fortel deck um, here was actually an imported deck. So you can copy from Aether Hub or whatever. Uh, you can get the that you can export to MTG Arena format. You can import with the buttons at the bottom. You can click it. You can um, export. So you can get the exported MTG Arena format here. You can duplicate um, the decks with that. So now it's the second copy. Um, and then you can favorite things if you want to for the things that you're trying to show off. As far as the deck list function. So let's jump into this one here. Okay, so you have to click on it and press the edit deck. I'm so used to the double clicking to get into stuff. Can't do that here. <laughs> so you have to click it, hit the edit deck. Um, and in here, you don't get the ability to throw it down to the bottom side so you can see all the cards uh, in a row. I, I think that would just be too hard to really click through and see how it really work. Uh, but with this one, we have everything on the right hand side here. So if you wanna know what the card is a little bit better, click and hold. It shows up uh, this and I actually I really like this view like as far as I would use this all the time for for video recording everything just because it would be really nice to be able to show off the cards like this and talk about them where it blackens out everything else. You actually get to see it all. Uh, there probably is a way to do that if I'm like going into the different um, styles of a card or something like that. But uh, anyway, I actually really like that. So anytime that you want to read a card, click and hold on it and it shows it up into this format and it kind of puts it over everything else. Uh, and so if you need to look at the opponent's lands, it kind of works the same way. Uh, you can go in here as far as adding cards. If you click in the center of the, of the card up here, like the part of the realm here on the right side, uh, it goes down, click on the, the number side of it, goes up the same way as as it you know as you do in arena um you can craft apply styles the same way everything gets applied there just by hitting apply styles um all, all the stuff you know there it is all right so up in the top side of this you can change the deck name by uh clicking the title of it uh we'll do foretell um 
I, I definitely prefer having the text box be up, you know, like more, I, I like using text box the normal way, but the fact that it does work here just fine is nice. On the right hand side, anywhere you click on the right hand side takes you to the sideboard versus the deck. And if you want to get to the stats, so don't try hitting the stats bars up there. Instead you hit the, the box, the actual deck box of everything. And that gets you into all the stats. You can change, you know, into historic format if you want to. Um, I've not found a way to, to change the deck um, to, you know, like have different card art to have different card backs um, or, or to have a different like, yeah, the, the different art for the box itself. I, I'm not sure how to do that outside of arena on this yet. Uh, maybe that's just a feature that hasn't come out just yet. And that's fine. It's not a big deal. I do wonder, can we bring this up onto here? Nope, can't. Oh, you can. Okay. So, so if you click on uh, if you click on a, a a card and kind of just drag it up real quick, you can change the card art there. Um, as far as card backs, can I click on the card back here? Yes, you can. Okay, so you click on the card back on in the in the box in the middle, and then you can change it up to whatever you want. All right, sweet. So we'll we'll just do something quick. Soul ring, why not? Um, sweet. All right, so you can change the card backs. You can do everything there. Uh, sweet learning as as we go with you guys um, if you if you're checking out your wild cards uh, it, it shows this uh, a little bit different um, side of it where I actually really like where you can go into deck builder go to browse packs to kind of see if you want to open more packs get more wild cards but you also can just see all of them here really easily instead of just like hovering over and seeing the drop down it pops up for you um, as far as packs go uh, let's yeah, go ahead and discard changes with this uh, but yeah, overall, I really enjoy using uh, the the deck builder. Um, being able to search up cards is really easy. Uh, you know, actually, let's jumping back into this real quick because everything else isn't as important. Um, we'll go ahead and like create a new a new deck here real quick. So if you're trying to dig and search into anything else, first off, select the format you want. Let's go into historic. Um, let's click on the color things, and you can start looking up your dual colored lands in white and black let's say all right and so now you can have all of these highlighted at the same time which it's really easy to just kind of click in this click out um you can jump into the drop down it has everything that's the same functions you can add the colors up here you can do the numbers let's say that we're, we're looking for non-dual color lands we're looking for the modal face lands in these uh in these converted mana, converted mana costs in uh let's go into historic and we're diving into so that's all of historic let's actually dive into just uh rivals of x long because that's where i know that there are some of these all right sweet so now we can check out all the different ones that are in white and black that uh end up becoming lands and so like legions landing that kind of stuff you can check it out here it shows all the different sides of it anyway i really like this it's really powerful um yeah yeah so i i'm a big fan overall of how how everything functions here it feels really easily to do it the search function works out pretty well as well or we can go godless shrine uh search up godless we're going to take off the cover and mana cost stuff see i'm able to search this up pretty easily like it doesn't it doesn't feel that much slower than other stuff like if ever i'm really trying to dig through everything i can boom bam there we go godless shrine is now in our deck uh so this kind of thing i think is pretty good it's actually really powerful it works really well um yeah let's check out some other stuff so discard changes here check out the store i think the store functions the exact same way i'm not going to buy anything here in front of you guys that's something you can figure out on your own uh there is quite a bit of loading time between everything i have noticed that um but yeah, you have all your options here. You can go to your daily deals. If ever you're not getting to your, your computer anytime, you really are really want to get the daily deals every time, then sure, you can do that. <laughs> you know, So uh, you can buy packs here pretty easily. The drop down for all the different sets. I actually like this drop down. I'm not sure if they changed that on Arena as well, but I think it looks good. You can go into all the different bundles. So if you, if you care about all this stuff, you can buy avatars, sleeves, pets. You can legitimately play Magic and never play, get on your computer again. Like It has everything here for you is basically what it what's uh, what's here uh you have the mastery pass side of things uh you can jump into the mastery tree and like actually uh i, I think that's the reason that they made these a little bit bigger this time around or a little bit like this uh look uh, so that you can click on these spots pretty easily um and so i like it i think it's good um 
And so I'm going to go ahead and just to try, I'm going to try to jump into some gameplay and I'm going to start a second recording to make that actually work here for us. Okay. So stop this now. All right. Recording again and we're hitting play and we're using the rune warriors deck. So you can select all the same ways, jump into historic up at the top. All right, recording this in a second video so that if it does crash again, I can still play it. I, I may not show the entire game just because I've already had, had issues with this. Uh, me recording the screen with this as well as playing it definitely, definitely causes more issues than not. Uh, by the way, the aspect ratio of this is going to be a little bit off as well just because what's on the phone versus what's on a, a, you know, a HD, what is it, 1090p um, is going to be a little bit different. All right, up against Pandora. And uh, here is a warrior tribal rune warriors deck. Up in the top, you can click the uh, view your opponent. We can see, um, yeah, you can tap on the avatar to mute them. Tap here to say hello. Uh, we can put the scroll buttons to go to our different emotes, which is cool, sweet. So I can jump through all this kind of stuff. Goes into my hand automatically. That was actually really nice. Keep this so I can be like saying hi. I can be judge. <laughs> you can be uh, taunting people the whole time. Um, I, I haven't changed my card backs on this deck yet, but this pops up the same way. Um, so if I click outside of my hand, the hand shrinks. I can click in here, scroll through my cards with this little scroll bar at the bottom, which is really intuitive. Um, I can hover over a card that they have. So Throne of Throne of, of Death, uh, Egon, God of Death. Um, hover over their land so you can't just click on the land and see what it is you have to uh, you have to click and hold to see what land that they have over there all right cool now that we've seen everything about their stuff we can play out our land <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm being one of those players right now all right seeing the graveyard pretty easy to do get to check into my Triton there get to see their deck to see where anything that's going on uh, it's just a, a normal land they're not doing any any snow stuff uh, so we are gonna play out a season hollow blade Against this deck, having a death uh, indestructible creature is probably going to be better. Um, I'm not sure if I care to, to play out the whole thing just because I have a higher chance of the, the game um, crashing on me again and not being able to actually keep this recording. Uh, but I just wanted to show off everything that's here. Uh, as far as holding... Um, okay, opponents... Dude, we're good. We opponents scooped because we're awesome. Take that, fool. <laughs> Never mind. I guess we're showing the whole thing. I uh, just wanted to show. So uh, as far as like holding um, control on different things, I, I'm not sure yet if there's a way to just hold full control um, other than clicking the, the you know hold on these certain spots. There are times that it's better to be doing it outside of that. At the same time, though, I think you can get full control by holding those as long as you know each side of it. So uh, you know, click on their side of everything um, and then click on your side over here to get your your holds on. Uh, and it'll show up. So yeah, click over there on the on the blue for their side. Uh, you have to click twice to get it onto your side because I think it shows you as red, them as blue. Uh, so good thing to remember. Um, you can always click the auto pass, uh, and that's basically it. everything. Everything functions very much like a game of magic. It's just the lands are smaller, all the enchantments, all those kinds of things are smaller. Everything is spread out. Your um, your stuff is over here instead, so you can still do emotes and everything over here on the left-hand side. Uh, I can change the color of my bear um, even, so all the pets are still the same. Um, they interact pretty well. I'm not sure if his is interacting anymore. Uh, typically, their, their pet interacts with you as well. So like everything works the same as a game of magic. It actually is really good. And so really impressed with this. I, I've been super, super impressed with the, the, the play style. Um, it does get slow every once in a while. Not like awful or anything, but it does get slow every once in a while. Um, sorry, my phone crashed on or my, my computer crashed on me. I went to sleep for a little bit. Uh, anyway, so that's it. We get, we get to claim our praises for winning a, a game. Everything works out just the same. If you're trying to rank up and you don't want to have to stay at your computer, if you're trying to build decks, if you're trying to do stuff, or you just want to play games of magic in general, this is a great way to do it. I think you can play very well functionally wise. Uh, as far as uh, battery drain, I'm recording as well, so that's something. Um, I started out this video around 75 to 80 percent, uh, and so um, it does drain quite a bit. Uh, again, I am I'm recording this as well. I have my my um, uh my 
brightness turned up a little bit as well for me because I have the bright lights and everything. Uh, but overall, I think it's good. Uh, as far as sealed goes, or like the limited formats, I'm, I'm interested to see how that works as far as deck building. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be basically the same. Um, the drafting, I think, will probably be a little bit harder. But I think you can do it just the same. You know, it's just going to show up all the different cards. You click on the ones that you want and i think it'll work just fine so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to check out this uh the links are going to be down in the description below uh to download the the app uh i also try to put up the article about like which phones are compatible all that kind of stuff down there as well um and yeah so no iphones right now just android stuff and yeah that's it uh you can also yeah real quick you can also uh check out this you know let's let's go ahead and buy a pack real quick actually we just got to a thousand coins We'll end it. We'll end it on a high. Uh, we'll buy a pack uh, and see how this goes. I always do that. I always click the packs to go buy packs. I feel like they should have that basically in the same drop down, in my opinion. All right. So yeah, let's go grab a pack, claim it, jump over to packs, and let's see how it looks when we open it. Uh, I like the look of that just being like big up there in the top. That's actually really nice. I'm sure you can like do the the open ten at the bottom as well. And we got a predator, so I can click and hold here too, which is really nice. That's something that you had to like, it wasn't as easy to do uh, on Arena, so, or, or on the computer version. So anyway, yeah, this is, I, I like it. I think they did a really good job with everything. It's 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 completely functional on the phone. Uh, there is a lot of small things, you know, here and there, like it's, um, things are small in this, you know, so, oh, sorry, I, I keep thinking of more things that I, I didn't talk about yet. Um, yeah, I can jump. I clicked on the gems, so he wants to uh, purchase gems. Uh, in the options, so with gameplay, you can't alter quality of, of gameplay. Like, I can't alter the quality of the shadows or anything like that. Everything is exactly the same quality always. But I can change, you know, if I want to auto order my triggers um, or if I want to do it myself, I can change everything here. Evergreen keyword reminders. Uh, if I know my keywords pretty well, then I don't have to have that there available. Uh, but sometimes it's just nice to have to reread things through. Um, audio functions the same as audio always does you know <laughs> so uh you can change your language here and we can of course exit the game here so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed it uh enjoyed the video hopefully this was informative for you please like share subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much and bye bye